This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you my top photography tips and tricks that I use, especially on my beach photo shoots, but also when I'm shooting fashion, so stay tuned. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button to not miss any of my future uploads. And also make sure to like my Instagram. I always post all of my newest content there. And let's get right into the video. Um, I think if we drop the skirt and then we get you to sit down on the ground, I think that'll be pretty nice. First and the most important tip that I have for you is to always give plenty of feedback to your model. I know it might sound a bit silly saying the same things over and over like, I love it, it's beautiful, great, that looks awesome, but it really does help your subject to know that they are doing a good job. Remember, they don't see what you see at the back of the camera, they're just standing there in front of you and hoping that you're going to give them some feedback. So. When I started my photography, I was always super quiet and I wouldn't give a lot of feedback to my models and it was a big struggle in my career. So I definitely, definitely think you should try and give as much feedback as humanly possible. Gorgeous. Oh, I love the little hair on your face. It's so pretty. Whenever I frame my images, I always look out for the sky. My goal is to fill up the frame as well as I can with anything that isn't just empty space. As you've probably noticed, I usually shoot with direct sunlight, so even if the sky is showing, it's not such a big deal because it will still look blue. However, if you're shooting backlit, it's helpful to have things like trees or whatever else you can find that will fill up that blank space. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that's really nice when it's like slightly overcast. Beautiful. If I'm shooting in direct sunlight, I always make sure to underexpose my images a little so I can preserve all the details in the skin. Remember, it's always easier to recover darks than it is to recover highlights. Yes, that's nice. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. Yeah, beautiful. Oh yeah, that's a squat for me. Jesus. It's very deep. I don't think I have it in me. Maybe I should go on my knees. Oh, goodness. Ew, no. I know. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be a squat for me. That's gorgeous. Love that. It's so pretty. Mm hmm. If I'm shooting in the water, I always try to submerge my subject above their knees, otherwise their limbs might look a little bit off. In this particular case, the water was pretty shallow, so I ended up having to ask my subject to kneel in the water to avoid having her shins awkwardly cut off. I also love shooting from the water towards the beach. A lot of the time it's pretty hard as the water can get pretty deep and I don't necessarily feel like risking my equipment. However, in situations like this, shooting towards the land gives you a really unique perspective that I love. Admittedly, this is not something that I do a lot, but I do love accessorizing my images when I can. I feel like it just elevates the images and makes it look so much more fun. This time, for example, I brought my waterproof analog camera with me and also put a bucket, bucket hat on my model. And this way we got some movement, we got some different kind of shots, a bit more fun in them as well. There are so many simple and more elaborate ways to accessorize your shoots. You just have to kind of figure out what works for you. Here's a little example of a mood board that I recently did with some inspiration images for accessorizing. I'm kind of like trying to like, pretend to take a photo. Yeah. Just with one hand, probably, yeah. Cute. And like a little smile for this one. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-one platform that will help you make your dream website, portfolio, or an online shop become a reality. Squarespace has hundreds of beautiful templates, so you will definitely find something that suits you and your personal style. You can build a professional portfolio website in a matter of hours, and you will be able to customize it every step of the way. So it's so you that nobody can deny it's not. 
as we all know, social media presence is power, and with Squarespace, you'll be able to auto-post all your content to Twitter, Facebook, or Tumblr with proper tags and descriptions. Finally, Squarespace helps you with the marketing, they help you with SEO, as well as some plugins for Instagram stories and so on, as well as share buttons so your followers can give you some juicy shoutouts on their social media. If that sounds like something you'd like to try, make sure to go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you're ready to go, use my code squarespace.com slash Anita to receive 10% off your first purchase. Chew in the water. So I think if you're like kind of like laying on your side because it's like so nice and shallow here and the dress is like kind of completely wet, I think. This side exactly. And then we might have to um, wet the top of your hair a bit more. Oh, okay. But that's, even the way you are right now is beautiful. Okay. Yeah, the legs and everything in your upper body, just like this way. So just like twist this way, it's aimed. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Oh, beautiful. That's so nice. Okay. Try and move the dress again, comes to the back. Yes. Perfect. And um, can you have your arm out a bit to the side? No, no, this one, the, the one in front. Yeah, even a bit more. So your, your upper, yes, exactly, beautiful. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, that looks so nice. Mm -hmm. It would be nice. Can we get you out of the water ever so slightly? Because it would be nice if your booty was sticking out ever so slightly from the water. But it looks so beautiful. My final tip is to take advantage of the beautiful water reflections, especially if you're shooting towards sunset. The light gets absolutely beautiful and it's so easy to get a really unique and beautiful shot. Working with the sun when it's closer to setting helps the backlit images look not too harsh and create beautiful sparkles in the water. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can look at me now. Beautiful. Oh, this is a nice angle here. Yes, beautiful. Uh-huh, gorgeous. Yes, perfect. So beautiful. Beautiful. See? okay guys that's it for today thank you so much for joining i hope you enjoyed all the tips and tricks and if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time